That is what the head of the local NAACP chapter calls a report about traffic stops in San Diego. Team 10 investigator Adam Rakusin live in the newsroom. Adam, he says disparities they've known about are finally on paper in a report. And, and Nitika, troubling was just one of the words used. Dr. Branch with the NAACP here locally also used the words alarmed and disheartened. The nearly 140 page report took a look at almost 260,000 stops between 2014 and 2015. The study did point out that African Americans and Latinos are more likely to be searched and questioned after being stopped, even though they are less likely to be found with contraband. It also notes that African Americans and Latino drivers are subject to field interviews at greater rates. Also, records on traffic stops were often incomplete. Dr. Branch says there seems to be a need for more training and more professional development. Admitting that we have a problem needs to come first. And then we look at and consider how we're going to fix this problem, how we're going to go about addressing uh, the inequalities that that exist. In response to the study, San Diego Police Chief Shelley Zimmerman released a statement saying, in part, we will use these recommendations to strengthen, enhance, and foster new relationships with our community we so proudly serve. The city did also release their own 11 page summary of this report. I also spoke with the local chapter of the ACLU today. While they did not have a comment on this, they do plan to submit their comments at a meeting on Wednesday with one of the city's local committees. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, Adam Rakusin, Team 10.